Hey guys, welcome to Logan Reed Media. We're here with My Ticket Home. Can I just have you guys introduce yourselves and your role in the band? Uh, my name's Nick. I sing and play bass. Marshall, drums. Derek, I sing and play guitar. Matt, I play guitar. So, we're currently on tour, a Canadian tour with Architects. Mm -hmm. Like, how far... Sorry. How far into it, and like, how is the tour going so far? Like, how is it different from any other ones? Um, crowds have been sick. <laughs> uh, it's been like a week and a half, something like that. It's like a two-week run. Um, it's been fucking ill, dude. All the bands are sweet. Uh, they're nice as shit, and uh, the show's been killer. Yeah, no complaints, man. So now that you've released also more albums, how have you gone about to pick your set list for this tour? Usually all strangers only. All strangers only? Yeah, just the main ones we dig off that record. And then we're going to be writing after this album. Or right after this tour, sorry, not album. All right. So, there was a huge style change to go to strangers only. Is it going to be more of around that type? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. big time. Yeah. Same thing. Awesome, because... Yeah. I noticed, like, the second with the changeover, instantly we, everyone became, like, ten times more badass. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's awesome. So, going back to the set list, do you have a favorite song you guys like to play live? I think this could vary for everyone. Um, shit, yo. Mine is probably Kick Rocks. Ayahuasca. Mine is definitely Kick Rocks. Yeah. Definitely ayahuasca. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. All right. We, got, we, right we, we got a 50-50. Yes. All right. Those two songs. <laughs> those two songs back to back three times each. All right. Because uh, some of you have actually switched instruments with the band. You started playing bass. If you had to switch roles again within the band, what would you play? Uh, the only other thing I can play is guitar. So that would be the only logical thing. But uh, I wish I could play drums. I suck ass at drums, but drums rule. So I would play drums if I could. Oh, everyone? <laughs> everyone yes. Bass. I'd play bass. I'd be the bass? shit. Yeah. Nice. Slapping the bass. I'd definitely play drums. That'd be sick. Yeah, I play drums too. So I'm, I'm all right. I could probably try. Drum, drums is a pretty bad ins badass instrument. I used to play a little bit myself, but I can't afford my own set. I used to play my cousins until the person who actually owned the drum set had to take them back. Yep. All right. So we talked about new new music and new releases. When when can we expect anything? Basically, it's still in the baby stages. We've got a couple of songs that we're working on, but definitely next year. Yeah, I don't want to say anything, but within Sometime. the next year, definitely. All right. Going back to the style changing, uh, there was a lot of people who said there was huge like Slipknot and Corn influences. Is there anything new that you're planning on bringing to the table? whatever's coming out really it's yeah. just whatever we feel I mean we do listen to yes. other bands other than those two yeah. but <laughs> believe it or not there are more bands yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, we found way more bands like since uh, we did the last record I think I feel like we have yeah. All right. All right. one thing we've also noticed uh, it's you ca drifting with style it also turned away from like I guess what you people would call the warp tour scene, like even s clothing and stuff like that, gets yeah. extremely judged within the scene. Like some bands, they'll wear like suits on stage, like oh, that. Yeah. Like, what is like just your opinion on all that kind of matter? Uh, <laughs> you're, yeah, you're you're in a band. You're not a model, dude. Like, <laughs> just wear whatever the fuck you want. I mean, if you want to wear a suit, wear a suit. I don't give a shit. But it's not us. yeah, it's not us. You're gonna sweat your ass off in yeah, a suit. <laughs> All right, so now just going to some general stuff. What has been your best experience and what has been your worst experience while touring so far? I'll start at this side. Dude, uh, worst experience, probably going to jail. And uh, best experience, I don't know. Uh, I got arrested in Oklahoma. Yeah, yeah. But uh, best? Uh, I don't know. Best Play it, open it for Kill Switch Engage. That oh, that's sick. Uh, I would say I have like multiple bad times, like if I drink too much <laughs> and then I just puke. I'm just a puker. I don't know what the deal is. And uh, that usually sucks ass the next day, so 
And uh, I don't know, dude. I'd say the best is, like, this tour, honestly. I'm having a really good time, man. Very happy to be a part of this experience, then. <laughs> <laughs> Worst time ever. I don't know. There's been a shit ton of times when we've been stranded with vehicle problems. Bed bugs was fucked. That's just gross. Yeah. That's that's fucked. You guys still in a van? Yeah, oh yeah. Um, probably the the best time is just playing shows in general. Just jamming with my my dudes. Yeah. Um, we've had carbon monoxide poisoning a few times. That's never fun. From the van? Yeah, just from like random times. Um, best experience would probably be. Uh, the first show we played after the studio uh, at Horizons in New York. It was our first show since recording. It was like a really fucking big show. And we played just like so much better than I thought we were going to. It was just so fulfilling. Like we're getting a lot of props from like bands we've toured with before on like the new stuff. And it was just like the most like crystallizing moment of feeling like we accomplished something cool. Like that was probably like a really like high point like of this record cycle for me was that show so yeah i can definitely understand like for me personally when the new stuff came out it was just like it was a huge like almost revival like new metal it's gone it's gone away quite a bit like since like early 2000s and 90s and stuff it was like it was a nice change of pace from like the typical scene of breakdown breakdown singing yeah, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right so now this is the part where i'm going to put you guys against each other just right. just a little bit all right, I'll, I'll ask each of you each question kind of thing. Right. Right. Who do you think has the best and worst taste in the music? In what? Worst, worst taste, taste in music. And worst taste in music. All right, uh, I have the fucking best taste, and Derek has the worst taste, so yeah. I mean, all of our tastes are really similar. I don't like some shit you like. I don't, I don't like some shit that everyone likes, but we all jam the same shit. For the most part. Answer the fucking question. N- you. Right. Fuck Nickelback. <laughs> yeah, I definitely have the best taste, and Nick definitely has the worst taste, so. No, I have the absolute best taste, and fuck Nick because he likes Nickelback. <laughs> Alright, so you like Nickelback. What's the band by you that everyone hates? I don't, don't you fucking dare say it. Don't you dare. Give me that mic. Panic at the disco. Panic at the fucking disco. That's old news. Still listen to Paramore too? Yeah, I do listen to Paramore. I I remember that from the last interview. All right. Best and worst hygiene on tour? Fucking Matt and his smelly ass feet. That's right. That's right. Uh, Who has the best hygiene? No one. (laughs) So it's unanimous that you're the worst? We just got some smelly feet. Yeah. All right. So, everyone knows, like, you have to stay healthy while on tour, don't get sick, it basically gets, messes up everyone. Who has the worst diet? All of us. Yeah, yeah. McDonald's all the same. Yeah, we had, we had pizza right before this, so. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, I'm, I'm not sure if you guys share driving and stuff like that. Who is the worst driver out of all of you? Uh, Nick's the best. He's, a, he's, a, he's got the reverse game on lock, but... Uh, I'm I'm the only one to nick someone in the van, so. I think I would. You drove on the trolley tracks. Yeah, in Canada, <laughs> but I handled it like a G. So. Uh, Derek almost hit this guy on a bike today, so I'm gonna say Derek. <laughs> Derek fucking pu- Derek fucking pulled away from the pump with the goddamn uh hose still in it. So he's a punk ass bitch for that. Go. Here defend, we go. Want to defend yourself? Yeah, with the stories. All right, first off, today there was a bus in the bus lane. It looked like it was coming at us. I was focused on that. Oh, All right? Oh, yeah. So that guy, and he also, he's fine. He, he rolled away fine, so everything's cool. That's like, man. <laughs> Just wait till Toronto on Saturday. It's oh, okay. ten times worse. Yeah. All right. And I guess that's kind of wrapping things up. So there's anything you want to say to your fans, anything you want to promote for the future? Um... New shit coming, puke rock or die, yeah, same as always. Stray headliner after this tour. That'll be dope. In the States. Yeah. Stoked to write, do some new shit. Yeah. Puke rock. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you for watching. <laughs>